I was working um, in Sussex with, at their academy and there was a big guy, all right, shed loads of power. So he hit a star, get them to hit off a star, hit a stationary ball first on a tee, right? Because you have to generate all the power off that tee. There's no, there's no momentum with the ball. So you have to generate power from a stationary ball. Um, and he, his hand speed was, was 12 miles an hour quicker than this other guy who was smaller, a lot smaller. And this guy hit the ball off a, off a tee uh, like, a, like a bullet, all right? But when we went on the machine, so suddenly we went on the machine or we went, he faced bowlers, the smaller guy hit the ball consistently harder, consistently harder, even though he wasn't as strong, but his technique was better. He had better technique. So when you look at um, the two American sports, you look at baseball and cricket, you know, would you rather work with a player with lots of technique and small, little power, or would you work with someone with shed loads of power and little and small technique? In cricket, we go for technique first because you can always build power in. You can always add power. So that's why it's important that from a young age, they get those foundations. In baseball, they'll go the other way, though. They'll get the guy with shed loads of power and they reckon they can turn him into a, into a hitter. So they look the other way.